Hey! Hi. I found you guys. Sorry. Story. You can hide from me no longer. So yeah, let's talk about uh, your uh, your little game thing. What's up sure, with that? Sure, yeah. Um, <laughs> so the game project I've been working on for the past two years is called Aquaria. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like an underwater fantasy, you know, adventure RPG. Mm -hmm. It's kind of a hallmark of a good exploratory game. It's, it's the loneliness there, and yeah, you know, it's just yeah, you yeah. and the environment. I mean, that, that was all the Metroids that were good. You know, right, the right, where there's right. a computer talking to your yeah. off. In Metroid, what I really like is that, you know, obviously in the first one, the big there's the big revelation that yeah. she's a woman at the end. You don't really know her as a person. You get this great sense of loneliness, but you don't really get to know her. And in this game, I think we really wanted you to get to know the the characters. So having Jenna Sharp, who's our voice actress do uh, all the voiceovers is really kind of fundamental to the game experience I think. Even though it's explore like there's the game is very exploratory it's very driven by narrative as well. Actually when we first started working on the game we had a very elaborate story and it was very much like kind of a Final Fantasy style story. We had all these like dialogue boxes you know that you had to click through and you're sort of swimming around and then all of a sudden boom you stop playing and then you're clicking through text and reading text mm -hmm. so in aquaria what happens is you're swimming around and then you know you you come up across something interesting mm -hmm. and then you hear nigel's voice and she tells you how she was feeling you know and you can usually still swim around while she's doing yeah that. yeah you, you can like always that too. keep swimming around as if from a dream i woke to the reality of my existence to the fact that I was alone. I knew that this world was called Aquaria and that my name was Naja, but I could recall nothing else. Was I the only one of my kind left? Was I destined to live out the rest of my days in solitude? My heart ached for answers. In time, I would discover far more than I'd wish to learn. So this is totally indie. Like yeah. you guys didn't ever have, um, uh, like focus groups or. No, like, we didn't. No, well, like, God, you're not even like garage programmers. You don't have a garage. <laughs> they're, you're kind of scattered. All, how many are there? There. Well, there are really only two main <laughs> team members, me and Alec. So you guys worked on this game in totally separate cities. Um, yeah. For the most did. part. Well, Alec uh, lives in Canada. I live here in San Francisco, so. We work mostly online, and I, I mean, I don't know what to say other than that it works for us. I don't know that right. I can really recommend it for other <laughs> people. Actually, the, it's really interesting because me and Alec, both of our kind of, um, you know, respective uh, talents just happen to just fall in areas that are completely different, but mostly cover everything. I think the, the voice acting was the one part that neither of us neither could of do. Neither of you has a good falsetto. I, I tried. I think we actually do have recordings of me. <laughs> doing so there was it. some other indie game. It was a zombie thing where they actually didn't have a girl to do the voice. They just used a speech synthesizer. Oh yeah. So yeah, like yeah. the one character sounds like a female Stephen Hawking. Right. It sounded like shambling. I will go outside to investigate the noise. Better you than me. Ha ha ha. Hot, 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 hot. I remember the first time I heard you was when I first started doing the freeloader column and, and uh, you had done Eternal Daughter. Yeah, yeah, that was, was a, that was like an old hobbyist project of mine. It um, was also kind of a Metroidvania exploratory. Yeah, project. yeah, I'm totally, you know, that's definitely a genre that I'm very, that I'm very interested in. And in a lot of ways, um, Aquaria uh, has a lot of the things in it that 
I had wanted to put into Eternal Daughter, but just never got you know a chance to for you know time and technical reasons. So what were you doing for a real job before you decided? Because now you, you, you this is you your real fully, job. Now it's your real job. What was I doing before is I I got out of college. I actually I had a computer science degree. Mm -hmm. um, I took a year off because I was so burnt out. Uh -huh. I just you know I. I lived with my folks and totally was, I was just a complete <clears throat> slacker. Um, then I moved up here and I started, I immediately started doing freelance work, mm -hmm. like artwork. Um, and I actually worked on a lot of games. And that's around when I met Alec. And I, the way I met him is I was working on this game called I'm OK, which was a, it was like a Jack Thompson. The Modest Proposal. Yeah, The Modest yeah. Proposal. But well, while we were working on that game, we started talking about games and just, uh, you know, making them. Mm -hmm. So we started off just kind of fooling around with some ideas and eventually he showed me this prototype that he had, which is like, you know, it's like Proto Aquaria. Mm -hmm. um, and it was very simple, but it had the, the un you know, the kind of unique control scheme that, that is still in the game today. Mm -hmm. And I thought it was really cool. So we, we borrowed some money so we, that we could mm -hmm. just, you know, work on it, you know, day in, day out, like literally day in, day out, lots right. of times. And, um, and yeah, and now it's like, now we're selling it on the PC, so. And you guys are fully supporting the Mog community, obviously, because you're indie. Yeah, we, we totally, uh, we released the, the same tools that I, you know, Alec and I use to make the game. And people have already started, you know, making some, coming up with some interesting ideas it's you know it's just come out so we haven't seen any really crazy crazy stuff but i can we totally, totally gonna swap the nautilus for garnet's head <laughs> <laughs> so what's next for you guys what are you gonna uh what's what's the next two years going to be spent doing day Jeez, in and day out that's yeah it's tough um we're definitely going to start working on another game we're trying to um you know use use the money we've made responsibly mm -hmm. so yeah. I bought a few Ferraris, just but just like a few. Just a couple. Yeah, just and, a couple. You know. Because our next game is is um, dogs and Ferraris. It's like awesome. that's kind of the future of gaming, in my opinion. Mm -hmm.